everyone, welcome back to my channel. I feel very professional here, I feel like Phil Frank or something. I'm in my boyfriend's house right now, I am currently waiting on a delivery. Um, if you want to watch my vlog, it'll probably explain it. It'll either be up before or after this, so it'll be linked down there. But anyway, I'm in my boyfriend's house right now, hence the change of scenery. And today I'm going to be doing the 10 most Instagrammable places in Edinburgh. Before I continue, I do want to say I could definitely do a part two to this. The only way I was actually able to choose these 10 places was because these were the 10 places that I actually had photos at. But there are so many places I was like, oh, I really want to include that place, but... Uh, so I could definitely do a part two, and it would just mean that I have to go around and run and get some more photos, but... I'm not going to complain about that. Today I'm doing part one of the most Instagrammable places in Edinburgh and I'm just going to get started because there's nothing much that I have to say. I've done a Barcelona version of this video and I will link it down in the description if you want to check that one out. But without further ado, I'm going to get started. So my first Instagrammable place which I want to tell you guys about, which is something that is very kind of close to my heart, I don't know, is Edinburgh University. Edinburgh University is a city university, so there is, um, the buildings are spread out everywhere across the city. But there are two particular Edinburgh University buildings that I would recommend. And now this is coming into one, but I'm giving you two for the price of one here. So first of all is Old College insert photo here of me at Old College. Most of the photos that you're going to see are of me handing in my dissertation, so I'm sorry about that, but um, this is me at Old College, such a beautiful building. It's always under renovation, which is really annoying, but it is a beautiful place, and if you can angle your photo to not get the scaffolding in, then perfect. Also at Christmas time, there's a massive Christmas tree that goes in the centre, which is beautiful, so definitely a lovely place. And then, kind of my bonus one, or my other one for Edinburgh University, is the School of Divinity. Now, I've never actually, actually I have been inside this building, but anyway, the courtyard area when you initially walk in is stunning. I've taken many photos in this area. It is beautiful. It very much shows off the old architecture of Edinburgh. It's just a gorgeous like place to take photos. So my second Instagrammable place of Edinburgh is again another kind of like bonus you're getting two in this one but particularly the view from Coal Town House. So Coal Town House is a bar, there's a rooftop, there's a pizza kind of like place and then on the bottom floor there's another bar. So go to the top, go to the rooftop garden bar, whatever it's called has a stunning view of Edinburgh Castle, has a really cool kind of layout and vibe to it as well. Because of the vibe and how cool it is, you can get images within that like rooftop garden. There's a cool truck, there are like these little kind of like ski like lift things. Obviously they don't move but they're like got fairy lights in them and they're very cool. Or you can just take the classic picture which overlooks Edinburgh Castle and it is beautiful. My second kind of one within this one is if you don't want to go into Coal Town House, maybe you're not of age, I'm sure you can still go in during the daytime, but if you don't want to go in, if you feel a bit awkward because you're not going to buy a drink, you can stand outside Coal Town House, I'll put the image here, and you still get a great view of the castle. So, there's my two for one, again. Place number three is what would people what people would call a hidden gem, but it's not a hidden gem anymore because everyone knows about it, and that is Dean Village. It's this really cool, quirky, kind of like, I don't even know how to describe it, like kind of like Disney Hobbit looking town in the middle of the city. There's a little stream. It's beautiful. It's near the Stockbridge area. Similar to my Barcelona video, I'm going to put the geolocations of all these places in the description. So. Yeah, Dean Village is my number three Instagrammable place to go. Place numero cuatro is a bar. So sorry if you're not 18 and you are not able to go to this place, but this is 4042. It's definitely a very over Instagrammed place. It's a white girl place that you go and you get the classic two pictures. One is in the girls' bathroom and one is in the corridor. I'm gonna put both images on the screen. It's really cool. If you have a dark theme on your Instagram as well, it's perfect. I personally have not ever actually Instagrammed any of my images there. I've put them on my stories, but I haven't put them on my Instagram feed because it doesn't really go with my feed. But it's a really cool place and I would highly recommend going. It's very Instagrammable. Place number five 
is a brunch place. I'm going to do two brunch places now, so five and six are food places for you. Number five is Grams. Grams is like the most Instagrammable brunch place ever. The food is the equivalent and on par to brunch and cake in Barcelona. Beautiful. It's very small, so if you go on like a Saturday or a Sunday, be prepared to wait a little bit of time, but such an Instagrammable place. Everything's white and light, so you can always get a good picture there, and I would highly recommend taking a visit to Grams. Number six, I said, was another food place. This isn't necessarily a brunch place. It's more of like a cake and coffee kind of place. And that is, oh my God, what is it called? So it's called Love Crumbs. And why I picked this place in particular is because if you're lucky, you can get the view, which is like the kind of, I don't know how to describe it. It's basically right up against the window. Cool little like cove area next to the window, like right at the front of the shop. And you kind of sit down cross-legged with like a little small table. It's just very cool and quirky and it's quite a nice experience. I've taken a few of my friends there just because it's kind of, it's quirky, it's fun. So you can definitely get a good Instagram in that shop window of that place. Okay, number seven is Carlton Hill. Now Carlton Hill is another one of these places that has multiple locations for an Instagram. One that I would recommend, which I've never actually nailed yet, I've never nailed this photo, but it's when you look onto Princess Street, but essentially you look down onto most of Edinburgh and you look down onto the main street of Edinburgh and it's a really lovely photo. As I said, I've not nailed that photo, but there are many other locations. There's locations on Carlton Hill that look over Arthur's Seat. So Arthur's Seat is like one of the big hills of Edinburgh. Highly recommend going there as well, but Carlton Hill looks over Arthur's Seat so you can get a cool photo there. There's also some cool like buildings. I don't know if they're like monuments or anything, but there's also Instagram opportunities on Carlton Hill on the like building areas. And an easy walk up as well, it doesn't take long to get up there, maybe like a 10 minute walk up that hill is barely a hill. Like it's really worth your time. Instagram place number eight is something that I have not nailed the photo at yet, but I do love this place and I go so many times. I think it's kind of like that location that I take for granted. So I go all the time, I'm always enjoying myself, I always have some really good like drinks and food there and I'm just, too busy enjoying myself, but it is so Instagrammable, and that is Montpellier's in the Brunsfield area of Edinburgh. It has a really beautiful outside. They change their theme up inside and outside every single season. So in autumn and winter, it goes like autumnal and Christmassy, and then in summertime, they've got flowers everywhere. It's just really beautiful. Instagram place number nine. I can honestly say I'm not impressed with my pictures here but it is of the Scots Monument on Princess Street. You go kind of down the steps a little bit, so you take it from the angle of the gardens instead of the angle of the shops. I'm actually gonna give you 11 in this video, I'm sorry, I'm totally lying. Number 10 and 11 are kind of like cute streets in Edinburgh, so they kind of come into one, but they are very different locations. So, first one, which I'm gonna tell you about, which is our number 10, I guess, is um, Circus Lane. This is a beautiful street and if you get it when the sun is shining, it is so cute. It's like one of these quirky areas that just doesn't seem to fit with like modern day like architecture. It's just randomly in the middle and it's got really small little like houses and garages and a lot of businesses have like quirky studios there. So I would highly recommend going. It's really near to Dean Village. So if you're doing like a little tour of Edinburgh, go to Dean Village, then go to Circus Lane and get some good pics there. And then my kind of second one of cute streets is the North Venel and it's just another great place to get a picture of the castle. I will put the geolocation down in the description so you can find it, but it's just like a really cool kind of like passage between one area of Edinburgh to another area of Edinburgh and in the meantime you get a good view of the castle <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. So that is number 11, that's your bonus one. So those were all my Instagram locations of Edinburgh. As I said at the start there are so many because I live here and I explore the city all the time. So if you want to see more Edinburgh kind of Instagram locations then definitely let me know in the comments section. I would be happy to do one, especially since I am moving to London very, very soon. It'd be quite nice to do one kind of final, very Edinburgh Scottish kind of video, and maybe I'll do that as a vlog style. Just kind of like me personally walking around getting Instagrams around Edinburgh to kind of celebrate me leaving. 
Is that weird? I don't know. I'm not going to be back in Edinburgh for a while, so may as well. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are visiting Edinburgh, just like I said with my Barcelona video, please give me a message on Instagram. I will be happy to send you a massive list of things to do, visit, see, eat, like drink, all that kind of stuff because I do love my little city. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and thumbs Please leave a like and thumbs up, that's the same thing. Please leave a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't already, and give me a comment if you want. Give me a chat in the comments, so yeah. I'll see you soon, bye!